honor and thank you. today's fire service are confronted with a more dangerous work environment than ever before. We're forced to continually change our strategies and tactics to accomplish our tasks. Our methods may change, but our goals remain the same as they were in the past, to save lives and to protect property. Sometimes at a terrible cost. This is what we do. This is our chosen profession. And this is the tradition of a firefighter. The fire service of today is ever-changing, but is stepped in traditions 200 years old. One such tradition is the sound of the bell. In the past, as firefighters began their tour of duty, it was a bell that signaled the beginning of that day's shift. Throughout the day and night, each alarm was sounded by a bell, which summoned these brave souls to fight fires and to place their lives in jeopardy for the good of their fellow citizen. And when the fire was out and the alarm had come to an end, it was the bell that signaled to all the completion of that call. When a firefighter had died in the line of duty, paying that supreme sacrifice, it was the mournful toll of the bell that so solemnly announced a comrade's passing. We utilize these traditions as symbols, which reflect honor and respect on those who had given so much and who had served so well. <coughs> to symbolize the devotion that these brave souls had for their duty, in the FDNY, a special signal of five bell tolls repeated four times represents the end of our comrades' duties and that they will be returning to quarters. And so, to those who have selflessly given their lives for the good of their fellow man, their tasks completed, their duties well done, to our comrades, their last alarm, they are going home.
We all know September 11th as the most horrific event ever to take place against our nation on American soil. It was the greatest loss of life the American Fire Service has ever sustained. And the scars made on that day have yet to heal. However, there is always good with bad. The attacks on the World Trade Center, as terrible as they were, it was still the largest successful operation, rescue operation in our nation's history, with 25,000 people being rescued by the FDNY, by the NYPD, and by the Port Authority Police. The definition of duty, honor, bravery, and brotherhood were shown to the world that day. And today's American Fire Service emulates these characteristics from these heroes that we honor today. We walk in the shadows of giants to strive, to live, and to work as they did. On the night of September 10th, 2001, the night before the attacks, the FDNY's chaplain, Father Michael Judge, was present at a firehouse dedication who was celebrating their 100 year anniversary. Here are the words Father Judge spoke that night. Good days, bad days, but never a boring day on this job. You do what God called you to do. You show up, you put one foot in front of the other and you do your job. You do your job, which is a mystery and a surprise. You have no idea when you get in that ring what God is calling you to do. But he needs you, so keep going. Keep supporting each other. Be kind to each other. Love each other. Work together. You love the job. We all do. What a blessing that is. Father Michael Judge was killed the next day. His death certificate was ranked number one out of the 2,000, over 2,000 people that died that day. I want to thank the FDNY retirees that came tonight. I want to thank Orlando Fire Department retirees that came here tonight, our police department brothers, our firefighters from other agencies, the commissioners, of course, thank you for being here, and the public. We will always have this event. This event is open to everyone. And thank you for helping the Orlando Fire Department keep its promise. That promise is to never forget. Good night. God bless you.
our 343 brothers. May we never forget September 11th, 2001, and the 343 FDNY brothers that made the ultimate sacrifice that day. And to all those that watch this, I offer this message. Thank your local fire department as they put their lives on the line every day. And remember, any call, whether fire, medical, even hazardous, or water rescue, any call can be the last call.